back to the Pleasant View series. So yesterday I recorded a full episode and when I put it into my editor, my beautiful voice was not there, which is not ideal. It's not what I wanted. So a couple of things happened, which I'm just going to quickly run through the events of yesterday's episode. To be quite honest with you, it was a bit of a filler episode anyway. Didn't miss much. So the major thing was that Alexander Goff here grew up into a teenager and quite frankly is looking like the resident serial killer. He's got a look on his face like he's about to mansplain something to me. So I'm going to have to change him up a little bit. He's not... um. I don't know, it just looks a little, it's a little off. So Cassandra levelled up her magic, she learnt the ice blast and the fire blast spell. She's in love with Blaze, who is not that dude, who is this dude. And they did have a woohoo, a risky woohoo, uh, but Blaze is actually in a relationship with Dina. Um, Cassandra's not very happy about the fact that he's in a relationship with Dina find it really hard to believe that he actually likes Dina. She must have some magic tits or something because when Cassandra turned up at her house to introduce herself, she came out and greeted her with a burp. So Cassandra set her on fire and it turns out that Dina's quite flammable, actually. So, uh, but not flammable enough to die. And uh, that was basically what happened in yesterday's episode. So that's where we're at. But I'm pretty sure if Cassandra keeps on with her magic, that her next spell that she'll learn is the Toadification Curse and if that is the case then we're going to head back over to Dina's and we're going to turn her into the toad that she is. So yeah that was yesterday. Oh and also Mortimer tried to get it on with Bonnie again but he must have some like onion breath or something because every time they started flirting he'd go in to kiss her and she was like no 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 you, you'd you be creepy. So they didn't really get very far to be quite honest with you. But we're trying. We are trying. So yeah, I'm just going to carry on with Cassandra's um, spelling, spelling, spelling around, you know. She's the spelling bee. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but it sounded right. So I'm going to get her to play with some magic. Oh, I also got her to quit her job because basically her job was getting in the way of her becoming the biggest witch in town. So... Yeah, so I got her to quit a job. She's gonna try and still get in with Blaze, um, but it's things things are moving along, but not as fast as I would have hoped. First things first, I'm gonna change up. Um, oh, also, the family adopted this cat called Turbo Goth. I was putting Bonnie into her, her own house because I wanted her to live in the town. I didn't want her to disappear. During the ta literal two seconds it took me to move Bonnie into her own house, the Goths adopted Turbo. Oh no, I think Turbo's going to try and eat the bird. We've got a cat now, and in yesterday's episode we pretty much ignored the cat. We could also get Dina to come over and eat a magic jelly bean because they're one of those jelly beans kills you. Mahaha. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna edit um Alexander Garth, make him less uh, of a serial killer looking type. Okay, so I've changed him up a bit and now he just looks like he's about to kill Dumbledore instead. So it kind of looks a little bit better. And I'm just going to go over a couple of his traits and stuff. So he got the unstable trait. Um, I just randomised it when he grew up. So he's a loner, unstable, clumsy and a genius. I'm thinking that perhaps he could be a bit of a mad scientist type and maybe be obsessed with about going to the future. So we could explore the future with him when he gets a bit older. I do want him to pursue relationships. With, with somebody so I don't really know who Lucy did grow up maybe he could oh my god he could have an affair with Bonnie behind Mortimer's back that might be interesting oh he's in a bad relationship with Turbo though but yeah I think I might do that with him anyway and just kind of get him to rave about the future they they're a weird family you know they will they're gonna they're gonna do strange things can you come and clean up that so yeah, so as I said, you didn't really miss out on much, to be quite honest. It was a bit of a filler episode. I think, ooh, I can cast an oh, ice blast. I'm going to get um, Cassandra's relationship with Blaze a little bit further today. I wonder if we can get to a point where we actually tell him to go break up with Dina. I don't know if that's an option in this. I can't even remember. I remember that, I, I know that that's an option in The Sims 4, so I could be just kind of remembering wrong. 
uh, uh, more acrobats in town as per usual. Oh yeah, a lot of people sort of levelled up in their jobs. Nothing really happened in the town that was exciting to be quite honest with you. Not even no no extra babies. Uh, Bella's here to cause havoc. Oh, that was it. I think I might have found a way that we can bring Bella back using magic. So we're going to try and pursue that. Basically, I was reading online that you can um, re use the reanimation spell to bring somebody back from the dead. And then they come back as a zombie. And then you can use the sun charm to get rid of the zombification or whatever. And uh, that brings them back as a normal sim. So we're going to try that instead of the the magic lamp but i also want to get the magic lamp as well because that might be quite interesting to have the genie as a playable character as well i want to sort of play with some of the life states that there are in in uh, the sims 3 because there's a lot of them and, and i think that'd be quite nice as for story nothing really progressed do we want to learn to drive okay we're gonna lock that in uh, get rid of greeting card picture i'm pretty sure you probably wouldn't be that interested i wanted to enter a pie eating contest as well why do we do that? I don't know why, how we do that, but um, we'll have a look into it. So we're going to have to change a bit of this to get a driveway, but it does kind of seem odd that they don't have a car. But I guess that kind of makes sense. Um, I can't remember, did, did The Sims 2 originally come with car? Yeah, it did. I don't know. Don't, don't question The Sims, Emma. It's just rude. And what other object? Oh, for crying out loud. Nothing's ever simple in this game. I can't just go ahead and do what I want to... There we go. <laughs> Crisis averted. Change that around. Um, yeah, I can never just do what I want to do. I think that they would have like a retro car, like on these. We're going to have a sylvan motor carriage in red. Yeah, I think that's perfect. 79,000. I'm just blowing through their money at this point. I've not really done anything in the attic either. I'm thinking maybe, I don't know, maybe we could move Alexander up there or something because he does like, I'm going to get him to do some of the stargazing and what have you as well because that'll be a uh, search galaxy. Go on then. Off you go. Right, so I'm really confused here as to why my greenhouse is full of snow. I thought that that, that it being in a greenhouse would stop that from happening. That's a little confusing. Doesn't look like there's any of the greenhouse that's not covered by roof. So God knows, I thought we were gonna actually be able to have a garden in the winter, but it turns out that I was wrong for thinking that a greenhouse protects plants from the weather. So we're gonna come and do. Uh, I'll get some. She can get some pumpkin pie for breakfast. I've never had pumpkin pie. I've heard that it's very nice, but I don't know. Pumpkins just don't smell that nice when you're like, oh, oh, okay. Alexander has discovered a new tiny blue subgiant. Forty smellings. Is that all? Uh, let's call it the blue giant. I, I, I don't know if I'd like it because uh, judging by the smell then I, I guess you can't really judge something on the smell because I'm sure that once it's baked into a pie that it probably tastes very nice. Right Morty, we're going to invite Bonnie over again <laughs> and see if we can see if we can do something with her. She's just very aloof like every time he tries to kiss her she just keeps swerving his affections. Sure, I'll come over in a little while. See, she seems like she's interested, but then she actually turns up. What's... is that a raccoon? It is, and there's two squirrels. This also seems to be getting a lot of squirrels on a lot. He also needs to learn to drive. I assume we probably can ask Cassandra or Mortimer to teach him, so we'll get him to do that at some point today as well. Um, where is Bonnie? Did she arrive yet? Did she go down the side like everybody does? Oh, here she is. Yeah, they seem to be getting on a little bit better today. I guess I'm just going to have to take the interaction slow. Heat of the moment kiss. This is where it all goes wrong. It's when he tries to do the heat of the moment kiss. Oh, okay. Okay, it worked this time. I wonder if we can get her to move in yet. 
So I've invited Blaze over for Cassandra. So I'm going to get her to come and perform a good luck charm. I guess she probably needs to perform a good luck charm on herself and I wanted to greet him. Oh my god, so she's actually got the interaction with Blaze to ask him to break up with Dina, so I'm going to go for it. I'm going to get him to do that. Look how cute this is with the little butterflies and the snow. Oh, it's so, so nice. Break up with her, you dick. <laughs> Sorry, I got, I got a bit too into that then. I know you're right, things are over a bit- <gasps> Yes! Oh my god, they just became enemies. This is perfect. This is going exactly how I wanted it to. So I didn't manage to get Bonnie to move in, but it turns out that Morty has brushed his teeth today because she was happy to have a little piece. Oh. Alexander Goff has experienced a personality swap from being delusional. He no longer has the following traits. Lona, Alexander Goff will now have the following traits. Dot. If he does not get admitted to hospital soon, the new traits will become permanent. <gasps> cool, that's really cool. I have no idea that this even happens. Oh my god, be admitted for instability. Okay, let's go do that. <laughs> How interesting. Uh, where is the hospital? The hospital's disappeared. Oh, there it is. I think it's because that- Oh, engineer a baby with. Can we do that? Oh, no. Uh, he wants to get a flu shot though. We want Let's get him be admitted for instability. This is quite interesting. Let's see what happens. Oh, look, Bonnie's here. Maybe she's getting admitted for instability after being seen with Mortimer Goff. Fearing a total personality shift, Alexander Goff sought and found a cure for his delusions. Okay. Well, he only just got there, so it can't be that quick, surely. Uh, okay. Uh, is Blaze gone then? I think Blaze must have gone, but that is good that. Is Dina mad? Oh. Oh, no, it's Bonnie. Where is she? Oh my god, that's so cool. Enemy! Woohoo! <laughs> Right, we're gonna have to go and uh, inflict some pain on Dina. Well, not pain, but anguish. <laughs> Let's uh, invite Blaze over again. I think he might have gone home, but I want him to come over. Oh, and let's invite him out. In fact, there's not really much place, many places we can go. Let's invite him to the elixir shop. I mean, it's not that exciting, but <laughs> sure, that sounds fun. Okay, let's go here. Uh, see if we can meet him. I want to get some of these llamas around town as well and then we can travel using the llama system. That'll be quite fun. Uh, Bonnie Bales has hit brick wall with the latest brain teaser from French puzzle maker. Bonnie Bales has asked you, an esteemed puzzle solver, to go to France and personally solve the puzzle. Uh, <laughs> do you know what? We're going to do it. We're going to do it. In the next episode, we're gonna go to France. Just gonna, we're gonna go with Blaze. We're gonna take him, and we're gonna go to France. I wanna know who's this person, Mindy Mize. Let's come and give her a friendly introduction, and then let's set her on fire. Oh no! Is Blaze gonna get attacked? Or I thought he's gonna get attacked by a zombie. Um, right. Go and say hello to that person. What are you doing inside? You're not allowed to come inside and turn on the stereo and start dancing. She's doing like a time warp or something. Alright, that's weird. Let's come in and do a fire blast on the zombie. <laughs> oh, love it. Right. Do the ice blast now. So the only way we're going to learn is if we'd set people- Why are you in your underwear? Okay, so she went from being really hot to really cold. Come and do a da -da 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 flirt. Can we ask him to be our boyfriend yet? A heat of the moment kiss. Uh, excuse me, you're not invited to this heat of the moment kiss. Do, do you mind just like standing there and watching? Go get a shower you scruff. Uh, can we do some more stuff? Became Ooh, we became romantically involved. It's all going to plan, guys. Everything that I decided was going to happen 
is happening. Can you believe it? Why has he got glasses? I never put glasses on him. That must be some of the accessories that the game decided to give uh, give him. Right, amorous hug. Gaze into his eyes. I think that would be so creepy. Imagine if someone just started gazing into your eyes. Just be like, can you not? Can we do like a woohoo in... Oh my god, we can do a risky woohoo in the llama. Let's do it. With Blaze. I thought that would be a thing that we could do. Come on. Stop gaze. Oh, okay. But you're gazing into her eyes. Come on. I'm interested to see this. Let's get a front row seat. Here we go. Oh, wow. Okay. That's weird. Interesting. Where are they going to do this woohoo? I really want you to. Why can't you ask him out? It's really frustrating. Oh, public woohoo. Oh, he's got the walk of, uh, the, walk of the stride of pride. <laughs> Romantic. I just want to make them be boyfriend and girlfriend. Just do as I say. <laughs> there we go. Finally, propose going steady. Took you bloody long enough. Okay, so now they're in an, a relationship, we can start doing other things. Let's. Why are there all the zombies are inside? That's really odd, right? Let's come and buy some stuff. Oh, she's also very tired. Let's see what there is to buy. Uh, so we could get the Fouting of You Felix a recipe book. Yes, get that. Uh, liquid Job Booster recipe book. Go on then. Procreation. Off you chopped. Uh, nothing that's it. Wish enhancing. Mm, pot potent cure. Ooh. Okay. You get quite a lot of stuff actually. I'm gonna buy those. But while we're here, I actually wanted to come and smoke the box and get some harvest some of this honey. Right, so we've harvested the honey and we've also got some beeswax so we can do some flasks of angry bees when we get home which will be quite fun for setting on Dina. Let's go home anyway. We Our mission is for this part of the episode is complete and now she just needs to come and sleep. Uh, right, so Alexander, you could do with a shower, you scruff. And you are feeling a little hungry as well. Uh, Blaze has followed us back. Oh, it's a snow day. Oh, cool. This is, what's wrong with him? Feeling out of sorts. Encounters with other dim dimensions have turned Alexander slightly loopy. Take a moment to take a brief breath or find a hospital. Again, he's just got back. <laughs> so we're not going to be doing any... Oh, he wants to be admitted for instability again. No, you don't need to be, you're fine. Okay. She wants to sweeten up a dessert with some honey. Oh yeah, this is quite annoying. When they have honey in their inventory, they just drink it all day. It gets kind of annoying actually. If she keeps if she keeps doing that, we'll have to take that out of her inventory. Uh, right, can you come and get some French toast? Right, and Morty. Oh, you're actually in a pretty good mood. So let's get Bonnie over again. Invite her over. Sure, I'll come over in a little while. I think what I might do then is, in between parts this time, um, I might put some different places in town. So we'll have like a bar to go to and uh, the fire station and you know all the, the lots that come with different whoa that's loud all the lots that come with different um expansion packs i'll make sure that i put those in so we've got a bit of a variety of places to visit whilst we're out and about doing things uh is bonnie here yet while we're waiting for bonnie i'm gonna get we can do a romantic interaction with him no thank you i want him to come and chat with blaze you better get to know him because it is um it is his daughter's soon to be a husband maybe i don't know lover it's her husband's her husband it's his daughter's lover <laughs> book won't talk about books
wonder if you can get a part-time job in the science career to like kickstart. Oh, he's unemployed. That's probably not going to go down very well with Mortimer. Um, right, so what did you want to do? You wanted to watch the weather channel. You, well, you're going to get rid of those because you're not going to be doing those, I'm afraid. He wants to play chess. Okay, that's easily done. I've got a chess table here. Play chess with... Please. Cassandra Goff and all the adults just won a sweepstakes and have been awarded a free vacation for two days. Go ahead and relax while you're away from the teens in your household. Don't worry about a thing. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> Let's throw a party. <laughs> Leave the unstable boy in the house on his own. That's a good idea. At least he's got Bonehilda. Is she already have been at work by now? Oh, okay. That's none of my business though. Right, um, so they are off. Let's get him to invite over. This little who is a teenager. Uh, is she a teenager or is she an adult? Invite her over and we'll find out. If we can find, find another teenager that you could maybe have a relationship with, that would be quite good. Sweet. How do I find out how old someone is? Friendly. Who wants to throw a teen party, which we are going to do. Let's ask about age. She's 105 days older than him. Ew. Right. Ask to leave. Can you inv uh, let's do a team party then? Throw a party. A team party. Oh. <laughs> it's not age appropriate for any of the Sims that he knows. Oh, fine, right, let's invite someone over so we actually know someone in town. Wait a minute, why does he not know Lucy Bird? Where have they gone? I'm very confused. Right, we're gonna have to go meet some teens because apparently we don't know any. They're not teens. Bales is definitely burp, maybe. Let's go. Oh, for Christ's sake. <laughs> Why is it so hard to meet people? Uh, let's go to the community pool. Let's see if anyone turns up that we know. Okay, so Bo Broke has turned up. Maybe if we just greet him. At least when he does turn into be a teenager, we will know someone. Alexander Goff, okay, so he needs to be admitted to hospital yet again. Because he is in unstable again. <laughs> Coral is there sunbathing, as you do, in the snow. So it doesn't look like there's any teens here, so I'm quite disappointed about that actually. Disappointed about the teen situation in town. Maybe we'll have to make a family with a teenager for him. It just seems like they've disappeared. Like, he did definitely knew uh, Lucy Burb at least. See if they're back yet. No. Maybe if I get him to come here inside. See if anyone. Let's come and do a friendly introduction because we're going to at least need to know people. It's just kind of disappointing that there's not that many teens. Right, I think we're going to have to admit him. So he need. oh, okay, we're going to admit him for instability. So I'm going to leave this part here anyway and in the next episode I might add some a new family into the town that have got teenagers uh, for Alexander Goff. I'm also going to put down those lots that I said. Um, so let me know what you think. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more and I will see you on the next one. Hey folks, thank you for watching the video today. If you liked what you saw, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. And in between videos, you can find me on Twitter at MGYT. Thank you for watching today and I will see you on the next one.